Welcome back to Electrical U. My name is Trevor and today we're going to be discussing the Finerci 2C53T. Now what this is is a 3-in-1 digital multimeter dual channel 50 megahertz oscope and the 13 waveform signal generator. Now this meter made by Finerci is a 3-in-1 so it's definitely going to save you money. You don't have to buy the 3 meters. It's all built into one. I'll drop a link to their website and the Amazon link down below. Check that out and pick one up today. Now since I've already discussed basic multimeter use, if you haven't seen that video, check that out right here. Today I'll just be discussing the dual channel 50 megahertz oscope as well as the 13 waveform signal generator. With that said, let's head over to the lab. This is the Finerci 2C53T powered on. As you can see, it has your overall settings page. Now that's just gonna be for the meter itself. You have your multimeter, your oscope, as well as the signal generator. Now each one of those built-in functions of the meter has its own parameters and settings. So there is actually lots and lots of options for each one. It also, as you can see, comes with a nice hard case. It has a spot for all your meter leads here. It has your instruction manual, as well as your charging slash share cable. Now this will hook to the computer to either charge your meter or you can share files by hitting the save button on the waveforms or the oscope. Of course, behind that, there's a nice padded spot to put your meter right there. The first leads we'll discuss are the multimeter leads. Now, these are your standard red and black. You'll hook in your red lead here for voltage resistance, capacitance, temperature. Of course, your black lead is your common lead. And then if you're working in amps or milliamps, you'll want to hook into one of these two ports right here. Next up, it includes two oscope leads. They have the little clips on the end, spring-loaded. You can clip these into the circuit. On the other end is your standard B and C. Now these are 10 and one oscope leads. They'll plug in either to port A or port B on the top. That's for your oscope function. It also includes a one-to-one -one B and C to alligator clip cable here. Very useful. You can use these as a one-to-one -one on your oscope, either in channel A or B. Also, you can use these for your DDS signal generator here. You clip it in there and this is your output. It's going to output one of those 13 waveforms for the signal generator. Okay, for today's video, we're gonna start with the dual channel oscope. Now I'm just using channel A right now, which is the yellow line. You'll see we have a bit of a waveform there. I've got my signal generator on the other end producing a 1500 Hertz signal. So in the background, I have my signal generator outputting 1500 hertz it's coming in the one-to-one -one b and c plug here our top wave here the yellow line is our signal coming in from the signal generator over there i've got it set for an output of 1500 hertz which you can see coming in right there you can adjust how your waveform looks i think right about there is good for us now we can also adjust the voltage make our waveform smaller and bigger for easy analysis. Now, you could use this on any number of circuits, just kind of analyze your wave, check for uniformity, check for any noise, any kind of distortion. Now, again, this is a dual channel, so if we hooked up channel B, this blue line here, you can analyze two signals and compare signal one to signal two, but today we've just got channel A, signal one hooked up. Now, again, like I said, there's plenty of parameters. You can actually check for peak to peak voltage, amperage, uh, min, max on your voltages, as well as duty cycle. You can turn frequency on and off. There is just a plethora of options on this meter as far as checking your different waveform output meter readings. And there's your second. If we had the second channel hooked up, you could have those same options there. Also along here is your main settings for your oscope. I mean, there's just hundreds and hundreds of different options and settings on this meter. It really is jammed pack with options. So as you can see, there's just all kinds of different options. You can move the signals up and down, left and right. You can also select, like I said earlier, making your waveforms bigger 
or smaller for comparison. If we had channel B hooked up, you can definitely compare those two signals. As you can see right here, we have our voltage peak to peak level about 4.8 volts, and that's gonna be from top to bottom of our waveform. As you can see, we have it set in one to one on our probe DC coupling. That can be changed between AC coupling and 10 to one for the probe. Our voltage levels on to the left there is how you make your waveforms bigger or smaller. You have your trigger settings here. You can go to trigger on A or B or auto trigger. Like I said, you can hit the save button here. You'll see it's saving the BMP file there. You can share that. Look at it on the big screen on your TV or your monitor. You can switch between channel one and channel two there. Also, you have your play and pause button there. You can go from stop to run there if you wanna freeze your signal to analyze it that way. Again, folks, there's just so many options. This would be a two hour video if I went over every Everything, but it is just jammed packed with different features that you can play around with analyze your signals Okay, next we're gonna check out the signal generator feature So we'll just hold down the menu button here back to our main menu scroll from the O scope over to the signal generator hit the play button here We'll pop into that now. We'll definitely have to move this off the channel a O scope push that over to the DDS signal generator output there. So now with this green showing here on the meter, we're actually generating the signal. So we'll shut that off. So as you can see, there are plenty of different waveforms. You have step up, step down, index up, index decrease. You're looking at the sine waves there, multi-audio. That one's the sync pulse. There's just a lot of different options. Now that I'm on my output DDS signal out, we're gonna be shooting that signal over to our tempo here and we'll, we should be able to see the signal pushed from the Finerci over to the tempo. Okay, as you can see, we're just in the regular sine wave output. It's green, so we are producing our signal out. We're at 2800 hertz or 2.8 megahertz. We have an amplitude of three volts. Now what that does is you can up or lower that and that just pushes the signal stronger. It doesn't change the frequency, but it will make the signal weaker or stronger if you need to pick it up on the other end. So let's put the Finerci down and we'll check the output side and see if we're actually generating 2800 hertz like we're pushing out. Okay, and as you can see in our tempo, we're getting about 2804 hertz three to four hertz on our receive side. So that's actually very accurate. If we wanted to listen to the signal, we could do that on this tempo. That's what 2800 hertz sounds like. That's pretty annoying, so we'll shut that off. We're back at our Finerci. We'll go ahead and shut it off. We'll go ahead and enter into our sine wave where we can make adjustments. And let's see, the center button there again. And we'll go ahead and change this to 1004. That's a common test signal used by many technicians. Really easy to navigate around this meter. It'd probably take you about 30 minutes to figure out how to use most of it. Not too hard at all. We'll go ahead and turn this signal back on. Now we're back on. You'll see the green there. That means we're producing our signal. And let's go ahead and check it on our tempo. See if we're getting about 1004 hertz. All right, as you can see back on our tempo, we are getting about 1,004 hertz here on the receive side. If you wanted to listen to this tone, it's gonna be a little bit lower pitch. So it is producing the accurate 1,004 hertz. So folks, this is an accurate signal generator. You can use that to send tones and signals over lines. You can check lines over long distances. Check for your DBM loss. Again, like I said, you could enter into your signal generator here and you can adjust the voltage level here. And I'll let you listen to what that sounds like. As you can hear, it actually gets a lower tone as we drop the voltage. So that's the amplitude. You can make your signal just more powerful or weaker. If you're over a long distance line, you may want to crank the voltage up there to be able to go that distance. But as you can see, we're at 1,000, 4,005 producing 1004 over here. So it's very accurate signal generator, very useful for testing lines. All right, we'll go ahead and stop our wave there. To get back to the main menu, again, we just hold down the menu button. The last thing I'll show you here, this is your charging port. So to charge it, you'll plug in the C-type on that side. And of course, this will plug into either a wall USB or you can charge it with your computer. If you do have it plugged into your computer, you can go into the settings menu here Enter that and scroll down to USB sharing. When you hit that, turn it on 
And with this plugged into the computer right here where it shows it connected, you can share those files that you saved with the save button. That way you can look at your waveforms from your oscope on a bigger screen or even share them with other technicians if you want. Hey, if you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel right here. It does something to the algorithm, which helps push it out to many more people. That way we can help many others with their do-it-yourself troubleshooting needs. Also, don't forget to watch our next video right here.